What is up you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do a door that reveals a new place, like drone footage, in Adobe After Effects. So, this was used in Gabriel Conte's vlog, I believe. Okay, so let's go to After Effects. And basically, you just want to have a clip that has someone opening a door. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this clip so that you can use it in your videos as well. Okay, so what we're gonna use is the masking techniques. So we're gonna go to our door clip and then we're gonna use the pen tool and we're just gonna go to the first part where some of the bedroom, my bedroom is starting to appear. So we're gonna go to the very beginning where we can see like a little bit of the flash of light. We're gonna create four endpoints to try to get some of that light and it's gonna be a very thin little mask. And then we're gonna press M for the mask settings and then we're gonna go to mask path and press the keyframe button and then we're gonna go one frame forward and let's just change the size to 50% so that we can see this a little bit better and then we could start to extend the mask so that we can see more of the bedroom because it's starting to show so yeah basically you can press the command and right arrow key and this is how you can go frame by frame to adjust the mask to make it extend outward so that we can make the bedroom sort of appear. So to be able to extend the endpoints, you're going to need to have your mouse on the mask one setting so that you can you're actually able to move the endpoints and you're also going to need to have your mouse still on the pen tool. So yeah, basically you're just trying to extend all the endpoints. Okay, and over here there's like a door hinge on it. You honestly don't really need to mask this out, but if you want to make it really perfect, you can mask that out too. So I'm just going to try to mask it out. But honestly, later when you look back at it and you didn't mask out the hinge, you can't really tell. Okay, so we're just going to keep going frame by frame by pressing command and the right arrow key. And if you want to go backward, you can press the command and left arrow key. And you can always just keep adding some points. And also at the end, there's like the door handle and you can also mask that out too but i'm not gonna do that okay so this is probably gonna take some time because you want to make it kind of perfect because if the door is opening kind of slowly you're gonna be able to see some of the harsh edges and stuff so what i like to do to mask out the clip is just kind of go uh skip a lot of frames at a time and then later on we'll can we can go back and just adjust the little things that don't look good because because once we skip around and skip like a couple frames at a time you can watch it back and after effects will do its best to kind of keyframe it so that it extends out smoothly i guess so yeah i kind of spread out the keyframes a lot but let's just go back to the beginning of the clip to the very first keyframe and we'll go one frame before that and then we're just gonna extend all of the keyframes to go downwards so that from the next keyframe it'll uh, extend up so it kind of appears very very fast instead of just popping up randomly so it'll look a bit more smooth okay so once you got something you kind of like we got a good start on this you can check off the mask next to where it says the blending mode it has a box that's unchecked that says inverted let's just check that off so now the mask is sort of inverted so you can see our clip underneath starting to appear now you can obviously see that some of the masking is not looking good at all so you have to go back and fix some of them okay and also you can go ahead and press the mask one drop down and go to feathering and you can just feather this just a slight Bit. so I'm just gonna go to like 15 but you don't want to go too crazy with this okay now once you're really happy with all your keyframing you can go and select all of your keyframes right click and go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease and now our keyframes are gonna be a little bit more smooth but it also might slightly mess up some of the masking so you might have to go ahead and adjust some of them again Okay, so yeah, basically when you're done and you're happy with how the door is looking, you can basically bring in any clip you want to replace the uh, background. 
So literally, I already have this drone clip, but you can bring any footage you want, and you might have to adjust uh, some of the color grading to match the brightness of the door, I guess. But I'm just going to stick to the one I had before, and for this one, the color is looking pretty good, and we can just add a lot on this and it'll look fine. But one thing you might want to do is maybe in, towards the end where the door is going kind of slowly, you can kind of speed this up so... I don't know, it looks better and you don't see how lagging the door is looking. I feel like for this clip, the door is kind of going too slow in the end. So I'm just going to press Command Shift D somewhere towards the end of the clip where we can still see a lot of the door. And then it will split the clip and then I'm just going to speed it up by right clicking and then go to, going to time and then time stretch. And then let's just speed this up. So we'll make it to 50. So now towards the end, the door will speed up and disappear okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and i'm definitely going to be trying to focus more on quality over quantity so yeah i'm going to try to be fixing my uploading schedule and maybe talk to you guys about it in a live stream okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys